fun. So I'm gonna do a May favorites video. I know this is like way overdue because it's like June now, middle of June, to be precise. But I've been really busy doing several things, but I'm free now, so I thought I'd just do it. So it's sort of like a May slash June favorite. So it's mostly gonna be makeup, but there are a few like shoes and I've got a bag to show and like glasses and stuff, so. Yeah, I've mentioned that this is like one of my favourite um, foundations, but recently I've been loving the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I love this foundation. It's just, it's such good coverage. Right now I'm in the shade Cadiz Medium Dark 3. Um, I went on holiday to America and um, I've I'm tan now so I had to go up a shade, no up two shades. Um, I've also like gone back to the MAC Studio Sculpt, this is an NC45. I'm like a foundation junkie so I kind of like go off foundations then like go back to them. And I kind of went off this for a while, I've always loved it but I just started to use other ones but I went, I've gone back to this and I love it. So these are like the two I've been using recently. And they're both like, well this is like a really glowy foundation and this one is like matte at first and then it goes glowy. With this one I like it as more as the day goes on. And of course NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm in the shade Caramel. I love this, always love this. I've also been using the Body Shop Bronzer. Um, this is in Golden Bronze. This is, I mean, it's kind of like, it's not shimmery, it just gives a nice glow. I sort of use this on like my forehead areas just to like darken it up a bit. And I really like this actually. I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I have, but I really like it. So, Makeup Forever has finally come to England. There was a counter on the Oxford Street in Debenhams. So, that's where I went. And they tried this brow gel on me. It's called Aqua Brown. They tried this on me. This is in the shade 30, dark brown. Um, they tried this on me and I just loved it. I dropped these in every video. Um, I loved it. They tried it on me, but they didn't have this one in stock. So I went home and I purchased it online and then it came like two years later. But yeah, I love this. Um, I used it on my brows today. I just think it's really cute and it comes in this little pouch thing and it comes with this and the brow brush. It, expensive um, for like what it is it's a brow product it was 31 pounds but I think it's worth it so when I was in America I went to Mackie's I think it's called and they do Anastasia Beverly Hills there they don't do Anastasia Beverly Hills here so I picked up this eyeshadow palette it's like you can pick what colours you want and um, I got this one which is Sienna this one which is called Topaz this one which is called Rich Velvet and then Neor, I think it's called. Um, so yeah, I picked these colours. So there was another colour that I wanted but they didn't have it in stock. So I picked these. These eyeshadows are like I think I think I prefer them more than MAC eyeshadows. And um, they're just really pigmented, they're just soft. I just I really like these. I've really been loving this MAC eyeshadow palette as well. Um, this is called Purple Times Nine. Purples really suit my eyes, so I really like them. Um, I haven't used these. I haven't used that one, that one, that one, or that one, but the rest of them I've used. Um, I might do a tutorial using this one palette. So yeah, and it was thirty pounds for this one palette. So I think that's actually really reasonable because it comes with nine. They're smaller than what the um, other single ones come like, but I think it's worth it. I think it's a nice palette. Again, um, I was in where was I? I think Debenhams uh, again. Yeah, I was in Debenhams and I got the Mary Luminizer by the Balm. Um, I didn't know they done the balm in there, so I saw it. I was like, oh so, yeah, I got this. I've kind of like scratched it a bit there, but yeah, um, it's really beautiful on the skin. I don't know if you, I've got a bit on now. You can like do it natural. You can like put quite a bit on, and you'd be able to see it from space. It's whitish, like a whitish highlighter. It's not really on the goldy side. I normally go for gold highlighters, but I think it's still beautiful. Then I've got two Charlotte Tilbury uh, lip products. I got this lip liner in 
Hollywood Honey. I think it's beautiful. I normally use it for, well, I kind of lined my lips with it today, but not really. I use it sort of for my nude lips or just all over it, it's lovely. And then I've got the lip gloss in Seduction. And this is also really nice lip gloss for eyeliner. Now we all know that I love the we all know I love the L'Oreal Super Liner, but it doesn't really come like this anymore. It now comes like this. And this one is like, it doesn't come out as pigmented as this, but you can build it up. But I love the pen to this. It makes your eyeliner so precise. No longer do it in this form now. If you find it, then you're lucky. But um, they now do it like this. But I've also got um, this eyeliner by the bar. It's really pigmented, it's really black, it's really matte. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. That's all I look for in an eyeliner, so I really like this one. And then also when I was in um, LA, I got this Anastasia Beverly Hills lip, Liquid Lipstick in Poise Potion. Potion, yeah. Um, it's beautiful. It's so pigmented, I can't even tell you. I really wished I picked up more liquid lipsticks. So I'm going to have to order it online. I've also got a perfume to show you. I've been using this YSL Black Opium Perfume. I think it's just... I wish, I wish you could smell it through here. Really cool. It's just beautiful. It's like a dark, mysterious, sweet sort of smell. I love like wearing it when I'm going out. It's sort of like a... Sort of a going out smell. It's not really so much of a daytime smell. I use it in the daytime anyway because I'm rebel. If you smell it, just smell it. Do something, smell it. Um, I also get loads of comments and people ask me like how I've been keeping my white, my teeth white. I've always had white teeth. Um, before I was using the Crest Whitening Strips, but they kind of, they kind of make my teeth a bit sensitive. I've been using this Mr. Blanc Teeth Whitening um, Strips. I did get sent these um, to do a promotion on Instagram, but. As I've said many times before, if I don't actually like a product, I won't promote it on my Instagram. I'll just send it back. They haven't paid me to say this on here or anything, but I'm not like, I really, really like these. They have made my teeth whiter than what they were, and they haven't made my teeth sensitive at all. And they claim that they, 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 they won't make the teeth sensitive, so I was really happy because what they claim was actually true. It comes with 14, and it's just strips, you put them on wait half an hour and then you brush your teeth and that's it. Okay, and I've also been using this Kokan coconut oil. Um, I also got sent this but this is the first ever like virgin proper coconut oil like 100% coconut oil I've ever had. I don't know if all coconut oil like is like this or if it's just this one but I've been loving this. I've been using it for my hair, my skin, my cooking, everything. Um, Again, they didn't pay me to say this. It could be, I think maybe all coconut oil might be like this, but this is the first 100% um, coconut oil I've had, so I really like this. I've noticed the most of the difference on my skin. Okay, I'm gonna go for some glasses now. These are from River Island. Um, I love these. They're kind of like catty sort of. They're just, I think that they just make an outfit. Like I feel like glasses just make an outfit anyway, but these I really, really love. From River Island, they're like super cheap. They're about sixteen pounds, so that's really good. For some shoes, I have been like living in my black Converse, like living in them is ridiculous. I really, really love these just to chill in and just do my day-to-day -day life stuff in. Hey, I've also been loving these shoes from Public Desire. They are just. They're just bad, like they are just beautiful. I've also got them in this nude colour. I just think that like with a pair of jeans and like a top, like you can literally wear a pair of jeans or a top. So simple and put these on and your outfit just looks so good. I've also been loving these. These are my Christian Louboutins. This is my, my first ever pair of designer shoes. And I'm really, I'm really happy because I'm 19 years old and I've always said like I want to be the first one to buy myself a pair of designer shoes and I, I've done it so I'm really happy I love these they're actually they were comf more comfortable than I thought I don't know if it's because I was drunk when I wore these and I think like when you're drunk like shoes don't really hurt not drunk but I had a few drinks really, I got these ones because I just put like they're 
you know, they can go with the most stuff. They're my babies. Um, I really like them. For a bag, I've been using my Florelli bag. Um, I really love the shape. I'm not really a bag user. Like, I just, like, have my phone and then my purse like my wallet sort of thing I don't ever really bring bags out I, I love this it's just plain and simple it's got like a pocket at the back I love the interior it's like blue inside um, I just think it's really pretty literally it for my favorite so it's quite a short and simple video so I hope you enjoyed the video I'm sorry that I'm I'm not consistent with my YouTube videos but as I said before YouTube isn't my job I have 101 things going on so I like to do YouTube videos in my spare time so um just bear with me when a video comes up it will come up but it's not my job it's not what I do full time I really hope you enjoyed the video I hope everyone's doing really well and I've got I've actually got like a notebook I've got a list of like YouTube videos that I want to do and get out of the way so yeah, but um, I hope you enjoyed the video, I love you guys, and I'll speak to you guys soon.